<laughs> okay, we're back at Pampered Paws with Kathy, and in this segment we're going to cover off on nail trimming and ear and eye cleaning. Um, eye cleaning especially is very critical with Persian breeds because they get a lot of drainage, as you can see here, along the sides of their nose, and that needs to be cleaned regularly so they don't develop uh, skin irritation within the folds that run alongside the nose. Okay, so first we're going to do the nails, and for that I usually like to lay them on their side, again like we did when we were grooming the cats, kind of hold them down, and pressing on the pad helps the nail pop out so you can see and where you need to cut. And about how far down um, should you go? You can see on the cats where the white ends and the pink part of the nail begins. Squeeze that out a little bit, okay? So you want to cut just in front of the pink area. If you get too close, you're going to have blood. So you just want to go just before the pink area starts. Okay. That's the quick. Okay, and so it would roughly be where the nail begins to arc about the midpoint. Yeah, where you'll see where it starts to get thicker. And it's going to depend on the cat. Some of them, the nails aren't going to be real long, and they're going to grow differently as they shed the nails. Some of them might not be as long as the others. So just because you cut a bunch off of one, there might not be so much on the next. So just go nail by nail and see what needs to be cut off. And about how often should this be? You just check the, their paws well, from time to time, and how do you know when they need to be trimmed? Cats with claws, you'll you'll notice they're going to start using their scratching post or furniture, and that's the time that you need to cut them. But generally, if you cut them at least once a month, every two weeks maybe for younger cats that the nail grows faster. But at least once a month. Okay, so our model here is somewhat cooperative, but what if you have a cat that strongly objects to having the nails trimmed. Any suggestions on how to restrain them? Well, wrapping a towel around the cat works real well. And then you can just pull one foot out from underneath the towel at a time. So you just roll them like they're in a burrito yep. shell? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's getting a little antsy here. Just needs a little more convincing, that's all. happy. Maybe we can just move on to our ear and eye cleaning segment. <laughs> oh yeah, we can demonstrate. We can demonstrate the towel wrapping technique. There's a towel coming out now to help finish those last two claws. Mostly make sure that you have the eyes covered up. A lot of times they're a lot more docile if they can't see. Oh, that's a good idea. And especially if the cat's going to start clawing you with the other nails, you want to make sure that the front feet get wrapped up. Sometimes it might take more than one person. Last one. Last one. Okay. Well, all right. Survived. All four paws. <laughs> For the eyes, generally what I use is just a paper towel. In water. You don't want to use any kind of chemicals near the cat's eyes. Okay. So just get the paper towel wet. Yeah, and you can see he's got a pretty good amount of goo running along the sides of his eyes there. Which And it helps if you hold the eye closed and always go away from the eye. And just 
wipe out as best you can. Sometimes if it's really bad, you might, might need to go back to your flea comb that you used when you were grooming. Comb some of that out to loosen it up. Hopefully you won't let it get this bad. Daily cleaning if they're really bad is a good idea. And you don't want to rub towards the eye because you don't want all of this going in the eye. So always motion away from the eye and just a paper towel moistened with some water. I just water. use paper towel and water. Okay. liking that better than the claw trimming. Yeah, it's good to get all that stuff off your face. It's stinky. The flea comb is a good idea. I tried that one. And then for the ears, you would just use cotton ball and a good ear cleaner. Um, Do you ever put Q-tips in their ears? Just on the part that you can see, you don't want to go deep down inside of there because you'll just push the dirt down in. So just okay, moisten. So folded the ear back. And moisten the, the cotton ball. And again, just wipe away from the ear opening and clean all those crevices. And then the Q-tip is just going to get in the little folds right in here. But don't go down in the canal because, like I said, it'll just push, if there is any debris, it'll just push it down in there farther. And potentially damage the ear. There's a number of different types of ear cleaners out there. Any specific that you'd recommend? Um, no, some people like to use, like, Hydrogen peroxide mixed with water. Um, I, I personally just like the ear cleaners that are on the market. Some of them, like this one, has salicylic acid, which lifts off the dirt, cleans it a lot better. Get those little folds. And they're all set. Okay, clean eyes, ears, clean ears and, and clipped nails. claws. All right, well, thank you, Kathy. You're welcome.